G'day. Loretta and I have decided to go away for another weekend and we found ourselves at Kenilworth Showgrounds and uh, just for a nice weekend but we thought while we're here we've had a lot of comments and questions on Instagram and on our YouTube channel about how do we find the MDC 12 plus um, but also is there any tips or tricks or mods that we've made to the van and so we thought we'd just do a quick video and show you some of the tips and tricks that we've made to suit ourselves. Now remember these mods and tricks suit us. They might not necessarily suit you but they might give you a basis to modify it a little bit more for your setup. So let's just get in and get it done. And if you've got some tips that you can share with us, yeah, we'd love to hear them. That's so true. All yeah. right. So the first one, let's just start from here. This was the cupboard where you can, where they give you and they tell you you can put your um, extra, your TV, bring your TV out, hook it into the bracket and away you go. Well, we're not going to bring the TV out. So what I've done is I've put a shelf in there. Um, I still have access to the power points. Yeah, I use my... Um coffee foamer, my milk, milk foamer in there. We also use it for the air fryer. Yep, and it's our spice rack and yeah. sauces. It's all close to the cooking area, so that works for us. Yep. So that's one mod. Another change that we've, we've made is with the drain, when, the, um, when you purchase the MDC, it came out with a very thin pliable plastic drain yeah it wasn't good at all as soon as the hot water went down there it closed up and it took for hours for the drain the sink to empty so what we've done and it's still a work in progress um, and it, it working for us is I've actually changed the drain from Bunnings which cost me 11 bucks and I've attached a PVC pipe which screws on screws off and it works, everything seems to be flushing, there's no leaks, no nothing, so why well, that's working, we don't have to worry about wind blowing through. And Now that piece that Steve got for Bunnings, it wasn't easy to find, is it a bath one or is it a laundry one? No, it is a, it is a basin one. A basin one. It is a basin one, It's a but it's a 40 mil, and then you have to trim off the 40 mil a little bit to give you a little bit of clearance because it hangs down a little bit. But yeah. you'll see it when you when you do it. Yeah, well, it's not leaking anymore. It was leaking before with the old one. Yep, yeah, and now it's draining and working perfect. And then from that, because a lot of places you go to now, um, you're not allowed to have grey water tanks, your grey water running onto the ground, particularly if you do a lot of off-grid camping like we do. So we've actually got a 40-litre uh, grey water tank holder, which just sits under, it's on wheels, and we can just pull it out, empty it, do whatever we need to do. Sorry, that's a better picture of it there. Is that a better picture there? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Because yeah. like if you're next to a creek bed, you don't want your water going close to no, the water. That's right. Like that's the right. farmers need it for their crops and, and stuff. And, and some places there's it's actually more that you have to have. Yeah. You know, you great can't have your grey water running out. And that just fits in our bath, in our ensuite. Yeah. yeah. The ensuite. So yeah. it doesn't take up really any more room because we just put it in the ensuite. And the other thing we found too is this dish strainer it's collapsible yep. so it does the job you can get them from kings or i think even kmart have got them um, tent world tent all world, the camping places we have got them and when you finish with it it just collapses down and fits in your sink so you just have to get the size of your sink and away you go um, another modification that we've made is this light now, when you're cooking here of a night time, there's two lights on the MDC van up the front, but there's none down the back over where you're cooking. Yeah, so, I don't know why they didn't put one above the other speaker. No. They should have, yeah. Maybe they could do that in the next upgrade. So, I found this light in Bunnings. It's magnetic. So if you've got a metal frame, just slip it on, away you go. But it also comes with the clip. You put your clip on, slide it on. 
clamp it to wherever you want your light and then you just point it, turn it on and it's bright. It does turn it in. It cost me less than $20. Yeah, it's a perfect funny, solution. Perfect solution. Yeah. The other advantage of this light as well is it has a high beam setting, a low beam setting, but it also has flashing red. That flashing red you can use as an emergency light if you break down. I actually now carry two in the car and one for the caravan. Um, Our um, chairs. Yeah, chairs. With the, the chairs, Loretta actually found online because we found that when you're sitting in your chair and you want to use the, the Oz 10 table. Which um, is fantastic when you're eating. Oh yeah, fantastic. But where do you put your phone or your glasses? Your glasses We're blind without our glasses. Like so Loretta actually found online. eBay. Yeah. eBay. $13 they were. These little pouches which you just clip on the side. And you can put your phone, your glasses. Keys if you want. Whatever you've got there in there. But those Oz tent chairs are excellent. Oh yeah. Gives you like an extra table. Um, plus when you're trying to eat your food. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Um, and then of course the grass mat. Yeah. The mud. They're, that, they're expensive for what they are but they're really good. Yeah that one was um, $50. Yeah, not cheap. Fonda, not cheap, but yeah. it velcros underneath. You can't travel with them on, you've got to take them on and off. But it stops grass and sand and everything from getting inside. Yeah, which is a real pain. Um, and then the bin. The bin. So, with the bin, um, this is obviously one of the bins from Oz Tent to, uh, from Tent yeah, World. Yeah, I think we've got over. Tent World, yep. Right, the bracket stays there permanently. Um, and all I've done is got the. Um, Oh, what do you call them? It's hexi nuts or something, yeah, weren't they? Yeah. Um, and you just drill a hole, put your threaded bit in, and then you put your screws in. That permanently stays there, and then that just slides on and off. It's brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah. Um, and then we just use the colossal plastic bin for our cans, because some places if you go to, um, they've got a spot for you to put the cans, and then they use the cans to help keep the cost down, particularly in showgrounds and stuff like that. Moving forward, we've been running the uh, 80 litre Oz Trail fridge for um, over two years now um, and it hasn't let us down. But with the MDC, the issue we had was it has a bracket which raises your thing for the bigger um, fridges and it's also got the fridge slide down the bottom. Well it's not an issue, it's just that if you have the perfect size fridge it's big great. Yeah, but, ours yeah. is too big for the bottom slide and it's too small for that. So it, that's how it kept moving around a bit. So all I've done is put a couple of brackets and now it doesn't move. Very happy with that. Um, around the front, we had um, a fuel jerry here. Holder, can holder there. Um, we didn't need it. So what I've done is um, taken that out and actually found the best thing that fits in there is the Evercool um, 35 litre which we got from Anaconda for about 40 bucks. It sits in there and we put all our jocks, uh, our wheel stops and stuff. You know everything that you need when you initially set up and the last things go in there. Um, put a cover over the um, diesel heater and what that does is that stops the sun from hitting the cap and perishing the cap. You can tell it works because look how faded that stubby, that stubby holder is. Yeah. The Laxon with leather stubby holder. <laughs> yeah, hey? and that's been on there for a while now. Hmm. Yep. yep. Um, around this side. The only thing we've done in here is I've put a shelf up the top because that was a lot of wasted space um, and I put timber sides around here so I can stack the stuff and um, all our camp ovens and the ensuite that comes with the van, the external ensuite, all sits up there and this is my everyday stuff here. Because you don't want to be pulling it all out to, no. to get to things, you want to be able to get to no. it easy. And then coming down this way. I don't forget to grab your... I'll grab my thingy. My thingy, your stove. I'll grab my thingy. Yeah, hot water system thing. Um, down here, we found with the hoses, the cord winder 
from Bunnings. It yep. keeps them from getting kinked and all that sort of stuff. Um, 30 seconds to put them away. Um, now. We've had some issues, not issues, we've had a love-hate relationship with the hot water system. Yeah, if the wind's blowing the wrong way, it just seems to blow the pilot light out. And it was so frustrating. Yeah. So, what we've done is, again, I've used the, um, oh, I can't remember what they're called. But you'll the put it in the description. Nuts, the rivet yeah, nuts. That's it. Yeah. Um, and I've drilled two holes and I've put two rivet nuts in there. And then with the matching, I'm, I'm using M8 bolts. And the M8 bolts, they just screw in. What I do is unscrew those two, put that over the cover like that, screw them back in. That stops the wind from... And I think that's a, a cake tin, wasn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, a bread. It's a bread tin. Oven tin, yeah. I paid four bucks for it mm. and just cut either end off and then put some... Rubber. Rubber strip over the top. But as I said, that sits there. It allows the heat up and down, but it stops the wind from going in. And ever since that, our pilot light... Yep. ...stays alight. Been brilliant. Um, and the only other modification we've made is the one that we know a lot of people have done. Oh, we're on a bit of a block here that's a bit of a slope. Yeah. This, um... I love this. For us, it has been a game changer. I don't know if I'll be able to reach because we are on a, a block. Oh, there you go. Right, we are on a block. Got a clothesline out the back. So good. It is. So You, you know, come out from the water, the swim, you just hang your towel up. Or you've had a shower. Yep. You know, you just hang it up. And then we just run these grudge straps. So quick to put away. Yeah. Just pull out, fold the arm. Two seconds to do those straps just for... I mean, you don't have to put the straps, but we do. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then the only other thing is, on our points up here, the, the, the locking points to hold the roof down to the side wall. We've put a couple of padlocks there, one on either side. That just, it's a little bit of extra added security. But that's all we've done for the uh, outside. So what we might do is go into the inside and have a look and see what Loretta's done on the inside. Okay, so the beds. A lot of people complain about the beds in these types of caravans. So the extender beds. So we tried all different things. We tried a cardboard, but a cardboard underneath the bed because people said they, the bed slid under that to make it easier to unfold. Then we tried plastic, then we tried vinyl, and we struggled. I don't know, maybe we just weren't doing it the right way. So Steve did the bed the opposite way. So he's put the mattress so it opens the opposite way. He's tied this, and we don't have it hanging here when we sleep, obviously, but we're just doing it to show you. And that helps pull up the mattress to close best thing we ever did we haven't struggled with the bed ever since um, making it um, we did put a muscle mat on the mattress because we found that we're waking up with a sore hip um, that's been that's alleviated that we don't wake up with a sore hip anymore um, yeah that's been a game changer eh? yeah yeah I mean and just to clarify what Loretta was saying when you buy the van the mattress comes with the bottom half of the mattress mm -hmm. flipped over to the head part of the mattress and so what they expect you to do was to pull the bottom half back towards you and, and at the same time slide the whole thing back yeah whereas by pulling the head as Loretta's just said with the head down with the strap oh, Loretta does it all easy as yeah easy um also to make the bed what you want to get is the deep pocket um mattress sheets the bottom sheet the fitted sheet it has to be the deep side now they are more expensive you can get them from targets for 46 dollars or you can get them much dearer at spotlight for a whole set they're 50 mil aren't they are they the 50 mil ones uh, 50 or plus mil. 50 mil. so they're yeah. called deep pockets 40 mil and less you're wasting your time they'll just keep popping we have not had a, the sheet pop off you just put 
the left hand side first at the top then you do the bottom pull it over to the top the bottom never comes off brilliant um, that's that now with the uh, Steve's put this in here so with our last caravan we had toaster and and when we're on power and you just put a little bit of a shelf there just to stop them from moving we do have them plugged in when we um, drive around just for that extra bit of protection um, also yeah they don't move no they haven't we've moved. taken them off road yep. windy roads whole blocks and dice and they're in exactly the same spot and it's just one less thing you have to pack up mm. and another thing for storage options is with the lure locks you can have get hooks which is over here these type of hooks to hang things up or you can get shelving so the shelf there to Steve's over there now these are brilliant all you need is this little device here um, they're suction on so um, I'll just pop this one off over here sorry Steve um, this is um, like that you pop this on here so you hold it pump all the air out and then it sits hard as anything you pop this back on to release it which is brilliant too so if you put it in the wrong spot or you want to shift it to where you've got it you just push in this little, little valve here it releases all the air and then you can take it off and move it to where you want haven't had any issues with it falling off we've got a big one here i put makeup brushes deodorants hasn't moved nothing's fallen out even no um we've got here for the hanging of the towels so everything you see um in the cupboards and all that sort of stuff this is how we just pull the roof down and it sits yeah and nothing moves and uh, steve i have to get into there it's the, the ones we got for the bathroom they're the lure lock shelves as well um so with these ones here they're brilliant to hold all the um body wash and all that i got these from amazon and you, they come with labels so you can have your shampoo, your conditioner, your body wash, your hand soap. Um, that really, it's never moved as well. Do you want to pull one of the bottles out and I'll just show them a yeah. bit closer there. Oh so yeah. Yeah. And then when you go to a um, a site which has got power and showers, like if you had a caravan park, easy enough to just grab them what you want your shampoo exists just pop them in your bag and take them with you yeah so they're portable you might be asking why do we have two two lots <laughs> <laughs> well we have a his and a hers yeah so that's my so that side over there i have different shampoo and face wash yeah. and stuff than what steve has so that's them and we, you, know, you can see the the toothbrush holder over there that's also with the quick lock yeah that's yeah. a little lock yeah. one as well yep yeah. so brilliant um, this we got from Kmart, I think it was $6 or $3 or something. Uh, we only need this size for the broom, so you just turn it like that. Oh, wrong way. That's, that's all the, that's all we need for the floor here. It even does inside the bathroom. Another little handy thing. We've got, a hat. We've got this at the market, it's just a hat holder, another lure lock that holds that. Another one for some fruit and veggies. Um, our towels, so I got the Tessalate towels. Why we went with those ones where we did try two at first and loved them. So we got more for our beach towels as well. These are them here. Yeah, they are lightweight. They got to come with a little hook so you can hook them up but they dry really quickly. They dry you really quickly too. Mm. Yeah, they, they don't feel, no, they feel good. They don't like, it's, it's a bit like a chamois, I suppose, but they don't feel like a hard, you know, chamois go hard. Mm. These are soft. And we've got the deal where they have the um, gym towel. So we just use that as the, um, the foot towel. These ones have got like any bacterial ones in these. So that's good. Let me just hang them on there the shower out on the um, clothesline out the back to dry them. Also we found these little cheap bags at Spotlight. They're good for taking, if you're on a caravan site, you want to take stuff to the showers. They fold up really small. You can put all your, your towels, your 
change your clothes yep, shoes extra shoes make sure you have extra shoes so you're not standing in their showers underneath here i've just put a box each for all of us to put our shoes and stuff in and we also always carry surf shoes so if we go to a creek bed i don't like i can't get to that one. Oh, i Sorry. don't like stepping on um hang on slimy rocks and stuff i'll just move around a bit and get loretta to show that again show that again because i couldn't okay see what you were doing there. sorry so i always bring surf shoes they've got these from bcf but if we go swimming in the creeks and stuff i i've got a fused ankle so i've got to be very careful how I, my footing and these are fine i don't we feel have, like we I'm have her surf shoes we have her surf shoes in the caravan we have her surf shoes under the seat of her seat in the car yeah just because she has to because of her ankle. Yeah, I can't, um, yeah, I can't slip. If, I've got to really try hard not to slip. I always take um, a stick as well. That's it, I think, in here, isn't it? Yeah. So overall, these tips and tricks that we've done have hmm. have helped us. Small mods. Need to put the aircon um, warm in here. Yeah. Oh, the only other thing that's in here, which it works for us, it mightn't work for you, I'll just show you quickly. And that is... With the TV rack, we actually found that the TV rack, um, the TV tends to move a little bit when we're moving, and I couldn't find a way of doing it. So then I actually just got a packet of these thin Oki straps from um, Bunnings, something like six bucks for five or something. One pure wrap stays wrapped around there, and the other one's wrapped around the bracket down there, as you can see, and they just lock on. The TV doesn't move. So, for six bucks, I've solved the problem. Also, Steve bought a Telstra, what do you call it? Modem? Oh, modem, yeah, mini modem. Uh, it's been brilliant if you're anywhere where you don't have service, because um, we've got Optus on our phones, and we take this with us. According, according to um, the internet, Telstra has 99.6% coverage throughout Australia. And Optus has 98.7% coverage throughout Australia. Um, but we bought this. Um, I got it on a plan. We got 75 gig. So if we're somewhere and we can't get the TV reception, we can watch a little bit of Netflix and that sort of stuff. And don't we have a fire stick as well? We, we run our, because um, the TV is not a smart TV. So we actually, you're right, Loretta, um, I picked up a fire stick. Where'd you get that from? Uh, got it online. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, and I think I paid about thirty dollars for it. Yeah, it's just maybe a bit less. But anyway, what that does, it's it's just like um, the Google Chrome, Google Cast, but it's a Fire Stick. It's cheaper. You plug it into your TV, um, and then you've got access to the to the to the internet. So it's just converted our TV. Game changer. Before I forget. Every time you get a lure lock um, shelf or something, <laughs> so you get one of these. Make sure you keep at least one. I've got two because, like I said, if you want to take off the um, the hook, the shelf, and you want to reposition it, all you need is that tool to do so. Okay. So when you put them up, um, I guess what Loretta and I found too was when you put them up, you go, oh yeah, practically. Or well, that looks good aesthetically that looks good where we want it so then we set them up that way and then practically down the track we actually realize no they're in the wrong place mm. so you have to keep moving until you find them so like these hats for example started over there near the front door and now they've ended up over here yeah but so I can't think there's anything else that we've done and if you like my little um Flowers oh, and flowers. dandelions. Hang on. Hang on. We'll take these off. Take these off. Yes, the little decoration. They were from Sheen. So I think they were about $12 for the whole set. Very easy to put on. I got a matching pillow. Yeah. So that's a few couple of people have said, where'd you get your stickers from? So they were from Sheen. Very easy to put on and I've got heaps left over too. So you, they give you quite a lot for for your twelve bucks. And our towels stay hung up there. Yeah. While we're travelling. They don't move. They don't move, not at all. Never moved. Yeah. So, I think that's all from us. So, I guess what 
this video was about was just quickly to show you what we've done to make our MDC hybrid caravan better for us, more user friendly. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of our mods and, and, and mods will work in other hybrids, but take a look, have a look. If you want any more information specifically about one of the mods we've done, drop us a line down the bottom in the comment section and I'll get back to you with as much as information as I can. Yeah. Um, but apart from that... Yeah, especially if you want more information on that rivet gun thing, the rivet yeah, bolt gun. Yeah, yeah. the, the uh, rivet nut. Yeah. It's called a riv nut. It's a life That's it. changer as well. Game yeah. changer oh, as well. Yeah. Right, amount of things. The um, clothesline is being put on with the riv nut not nuts and bolts so i can remove it at any time mm. if i want to if you need to put another one on yeah yeah um and i also have to be um also mind for a lot of the modifications we've done our weight of the caravan is still way down excellent excellent all right so i hope you enjoyed this quick video yep and uh, we'll catch you somewhere else yeah see ya see ya bye